Welcome to another video on my ESP32, Internet of Things uh, device and a lot more. Currently connected to um, LED buzzer, some segment display which is in fact 7 LEDs, um, monitor of, um, microphone not connected, then LCD keyboard or keypad actually. Um, light dependent resistor and two motors, Fisternik process driven motor and a server motor, also process driven. Last time I checked for um, the motors, but mostly, um, if I recall correctly, uh, the keypad that had problems. Um, I still don't understand why. I intended to rewire, didn't do so yet, but um, what I will do, um, and so with the source code, to check on um, the rows. So the rows are attached to uh, pins 22, 26, 30, 33, 32 and 35 and I want to see if there are actually signals on. So let's go to the software and see how that works out. Alright, so here I have um, software in Arduino uh, environment. I was talking about these rows for the keypad 26, 33, 32 and 35 and I have now put probes on 26 and 33 hopefully it will detect something also again um, the probes for oscilloscope which are now uh, pulses modulation then um, voltage right here last time it surprisingly didn't show anything but it seems to be all right now although I have to change the voltage in this way that's all right now and yeah you can't see it so let me take it like backwards. I had to change the voltage from 10 to 5 volts. Um, then uh, two probes on 30, one probe on 33 uh, and one probe on 26. Right. Now probably this will give an error because of the USB port. Let's see if that is correct. No, it's well. It looks like it's going quite fine, but it's only compiling. It's all right, so I don't have to claim any ownership to the USB port, and it is working. Here, uh, the LCD is working nicely, and the motors don't do anything oh by all means let me put the serial terminal pulse modulation is given a nice way all right that was the buzzer Uh, LCD is going uh, the sound segment display is working nicely. So let us try the rows. Because that is what I want to see. And the rows going here. 1, 2, 3 and 4. And I hope that this gives something.
looking also at the oscilloscope for some uh, for some result. But that doesn't give anything at all. Am I disappointed? Yes, of course. Am I surprised? Not really. So, what to do next? Um, I can go for 32 and 35. Where are they located? Well, look, taking a magnifier, they are right at the end. Right next to him. So those are the most outward pins. That is this one. And then I have to change one to a pin next to it. So this probe will go here and this probe will go here. Is that a difference? For now, yes, it is a difference. Because the purple one gives now nothing. Will it be giving nothing? Because it is row whichever. Let's go further down to the keypad stuff, which is here. Uh, 26 is row 1. Oh, it may be nice to have them uh, for now. Okay, so sir, I have now row 2 and row 4 connected. Row 2 being this one, I think. And row 4. But I see no result anyway. Too bad. Yeah, and this is just going on. So I need to change the software a little bit. Alright, so now uh, the question is, if I press a key, what will work? Right now I'm not pressing anything. And yet it says exactly this. Why does it give one? Does it make sense? Um, only 35, which is row 4, gives a 0. Okay, so let's take row 4 and see if that changes a thing. I hope I do not have to press 16 buttons. Uh, oh, 35 is 1. That means that this works. That is very nice. So, well, Okay, next key, or next button on the fourth row, should do exactly the same.
waiting for not working motors thirty five please be one yes then the next and yes I'm pressing now the third from uh, from the top which is actually the third from the right which is also one then I'm pressing the last one in row four let this be one as well yes very good and to my surprise pin 27 has gone zero which is column one but now I am not pressing anything I'm wondering what it will show now So let's see what the table shows. Oh, look at this. 35 is back to 0, 27 is 1 again. <laughs> and that is this key. So, how is this possible? So the 27 is column 1, which is this column. Row 4 is this one. So when I press this, the, the row becomes 1, but the column goes to 0. And that doesn't make sense. But I didn't see anything on the um, on the oscilloscope either so column one which is uh, which is which one actually column one is yeah 27 which is 27 yeah next to 26 uh, but which wire is that That is hard to see, but it's this one, it is the green one, as far as I can tell. So, this one has to move to this one. Alright, so this is row one now. And look what happens. Why is the voltage acting like that? Because it's out. It has come out. Which is and not the intention. It has completely gone. Ouch. Alright. So, um... I changed uh, the probe to column 1, I hope. And on the oscilloscope, nothing happens. Absolutely nothing. Does something happen with the keypad? I have to wait. I know that in row 4 it works. But does it work in row 1? And I'm blocking my own view.
it doesn't which is not good next row 2 and I have to wait the whole cycle Little hopes. Yeah, no hopes. Okay, I know enough. This is not working. So there's only one button that is working, which is exactly this one. This one. And it is working partly so still the question do I have to rewire I don't think so but is that then a problem of the software I don't know either because this is just reading out I still don't have an answer So with oscilloscope measurements I don't uh, get um, the signal that I want uh, but on screen it seems that at least one thing is working partly as far as the keypad goes. Motors, no surprise, no response. Although I do see that this wire is out. but that doesn't have the desired effect of the motor starting to work. Anyway, uh, yet another experiment. Um, experiments can fail and can succeed and I think even with unexpected or not desired results it can be successful. Anyway, Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment or suggestion, very much appreciated. You can also follow me via Instagram and Twitter. Um, please show your appreciation by making a donation via either PayPal or Wired. More information on my website and under this video, which is listed under this video. Uh, you can also become a patron and depending on the pledge, may have your name mentioned on my website and with my videos. Um, this is going to be continued. Have a nice day and bye bye.